Bo, bo, bo. guys so using a non-contact infrared thermometer uh, it's basically just this little Ryobi one I picked up from Home Depot um, it's gonna give us some outputs of temperatures so if you guys can see on here you put it on puts a little laser and gives us a reading so right now this is like 98 degrees right so I know that's what my hand should be all right guys so let's get a couple readings underneath the hood so as you can see right now on the intercooler 165 degrees um, right here on the fins of the intercooler, 150 to 151 degrees, 149 degrees. Let's go to the, uh, the intake manifold here, 163, 157, 170 right there, 175. All right, so here's a big thing. So then we'll go down to the turbo. We'll go to the compressor side, uh, 169, 177, something like that. And then the actual turbo itself, the impeller part. So 287, 289. So I'm just letting it idle here. So it's been idling for a little while. Um, the downpipe is like 204, 238 degrees, something like that. Here's the, uh, the intake tube for the Cobb intake, 153 degrees. The intake box itself is 142. And this ducting right here is 142 also. So um, when I initially, I went on a drive when I went to go pick this up. And when I came back right away, when I put it on the turbo, the turbo was around 300 to 400 degrees. It spiked at I think like 424 degrees. So it got pretty damn hot. But as you know, the curb, turbos cool off just from the car idling. And that's something that you're gonna wanna do once you do a little bit of a run or something like that, you want the turbo to cool down especially with this heat blanket, it's gonna retain a lot more heat. So you will wanna kinda of let your car cool off by letting it idle um, before you basically just shut your car off or else you'll kinda of just cook the oil in your turbo. So anyways, uh, we will do a couple more of these after we got the blanket installed. All right guys, so we're just kinda of cruising down the road a little bit. Um, overall, first what I've noticed is you know, it's not super hot out. It's about 81 degrees out right now. Uh, but the intake temperatures, they're relatively low. They're around 100 to 110 or 111 when we're sitting at idle. So real quick, I think we'll do a little bit of a pool right here in third from 3,500. Just kind of see if the temperatures go up at all. So I mean, obviously the air is flowing over the intercooler, but just trying to heat it up a little bit, um, heat up that turbo, kind of see how it goes, because we'll probably come up to this light up here and get it warmed up a little bit. Um, probably gonna jump out of the car also and just take a couple temperature readings off the turbo right now, um, just to kind of get a good idea of how hot that turbo blanket's getting and what the under the hood temperatures are at the moment. So pull over real quick check that out oh yeah three-wheeling i can't believe you three -wheeling this. all right guys so we just did a couple pulls um it's going to be pretty normal to just kind of be uh smoking just a little bit that's just whatever residue you have on that turbo blanket so it may have a little bit of a smell for a while but that's just normal as things go with this type of stuff um so we'll take a couple readings real quick um hopefully you guys can see this all right, so that's the turbo itself. So you can see at the highest, it went 312 degrees and 246, 226, right around there. The inlet of the compressor, 145 degrees. The actual downpipe itself is right around, right around 400 degrees. And there again is the turbo blanket. So I mean, that is, it's almost cutting it down by 200 degrees, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, the intercooler itself, it's like 157 right here. The middle of the intercooler, we got 119. Okay, so overall, the underhood temperatures feel really good. That's on the, uh, the intake box right there, the Cobb intake box. And that is on the uh, intake piping. So I'm gonna do that foil wrap on this soon, guys. So we'll see how that goes with this little area. 
but overall man that thing is uh it's working really well you can even touch the thing without completely burning yourself which is uh pretty awesome i mean if you try to uh if you try to touch a regular heat shield or something like that your fingers are going to be left on the heat shield you're just going to melt your freaking hand off so that is that's pretty amazing there if you actually go on their website too you can see them do a full dyno pull um, with their hand on the blanket as they're doing a pull which is pretty freaking awesome so all right guys let's see if we can't break in this turbo blanket the right way on these loops real quick Bit of traffic we'll uh we'll come back around that's what i love about these some good stuff right now the uh these are intake temperatures too guys so this isn't under the hood but we've got 115 116 degrees a couple of highs <laughs> so we'll come around here Get these tires getting hot. Oh yeah. Fun stuff. <laughs> so fun dude as a little kid i've always wanted to do this shit <laughs> but it's a great spot to learn like heel toe downshifting and like braking and all that shit all right guys so we just did a, a couple pools on those loops over there so we're gonna get a, another uh, couple readings that's our local little racetrack we got going on there so let's get some uh, readings on this uh, blanket. So again, we got uh, 327 degrees, 317. Let's go to the downpipe real quick. Uh, downpipe is almost 500 degrees. So we hit 477 peak. And we'll go back to the blanket there. So it's uh, 324 degrees. So it's pr still pretty hot, but you know, the intercooler is hitting uh, 160. Right there on the fins, it's hitting 128 or so. Um, so yeah, it's really doing the trick there. Um, I mean, otherwise that thing would just be wide open. I mean, we'd probably be seeing five, 600 degree temperatures, you know, right after a pool like this on, uh, on the turbo itself. And that's just right underneath the intercooler. So I think it's working pretty good, uh, pretty good. Yeah. Numbers. Loving it.